I just don't think you have enough hip turn there. But like, even with that little bit of motion, you're in a freaking phenomenal spot right there. Like you're, you have, your tilts are good. Everything's good. Like I, if, I, if we saw a little bit more hip turn and your hips circled around more that way, like that would then make your shoulder turn get to about 90 degrees. Like right now you're probably at 70 degrees of shoulder turn. But so your path is inside the out. We look right here, club path 3.3 degrees inside the out. So like, let's just leave the backswing how it is. Um, like you hit the ground behind that one. Yep. Right. So um, both your centers are plenty far forward. Your lower centers forward. Your upper centers forward. Um, so I don't really see any reason why you would hit the ground too soon because of that. Um, I think the reason is, is that this right hip, right right knee, right hip, right shoulder are not pushing up enough. There's okay. not enough standing up to the follow through. Um, so like right there, your head staying pretty good down. And I want to see you like this one. Like right here. I want to see like you stretching out this right hip flexion more. So like this shoulder will be higher a little bit. This knee will be a little straighter. And then now you would stretch your hip flexor out, right? Like basically mm -hmm. you're trying to make a straight line with the right side of your body or almost a, a reverse C with the right side of your body. So I think that's the reason why you hit that one fast.